Hello folks, and welcome back to another review and thoughts on. Now this one, the, bar the Barber Shop, which is a 2002 uh, comedy drama film. It's an Ice Cube film. I don't know if he produced it or executively, you know, produced. It's directed by Tim Story, which I would have never guessed. Who also did the... I hope you guys like my hat. New hat. I don't know if I'll be rocking it in the other videos, but... Coming up, but, um... Anyway. Yes, Tim Story had directed this. He, uh, he didn't write it, thankfully. But, um... He's the one that did the early... 2000, what, 2004, 2005? Uh... Fantastic Four films... Did those two, the rise of the Silver Surfer. So he, I don't know, like, I don't mind those films, what they are. I still can watch them overall. This, you know, you have you have Ice Cube as Calvin, who pretty much inherits his deceased father's barber shop. And he sees it as nothing but, you know, a waste of time. And he pretty much doesn't have any passion for it anymore, so he wants to sell it. He sells it to a loan shark played by Keith David. Spawn himself. Or voice of Spawn, anyway. And, and then you have this subplot of this ATM robbery thing with An Anthony Anderson and his buddy trying to get the ATM across town and back and forth with that. I, which, I think that should have just been cut out. <laughs> Because the movie, again, it tries it tries to juggle some seriousness with some comedy, and it doesn't really fully work for me. When it, because when it does the whole, you know, Ice, uh, Ice Cube's dealing with trying to fight for the, the shop back, and but then you also have Cedric Entertainer as well in this, and he, I liked some of his lines. Um, I saw a lot of them I don't agree with, with his character, t talk about, uh, Harriet Tubman, but, uh, or Martin Luther King, but, um, I thought he was funny enough, um, he plays like an old barber, old back-in-the-day barber, um, you have other actors, you have the one guy, one black guy who played in Halloween Resurrection, who played the, 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 the chef, college student i guess who liked to cook a lot they got killed by michael when he stabbed him up against the wall you know we, never, we don't even see that in that film um we have him in this we have i forget the actor's name but he's played in some other stuff he played in the, the remake of uh jacob's ladder he played the lead guy um also played in Taken, or no, not Taken, Takers, if anybody even remembers that, Chris Brown film, uh, Anakin Skywalker film. And we have an African, literally, literally a, a guy from Africa, uh, from East, I don't even know East, whatever, from Africa, we have that guy who he has a crush on, one of the female barbers, she's the only female in there as a barber. Um, which, her, her bits of, who drank my apple juice, I thought was funny, where Ice Cube's, like, telling her, stop cussing, and then she continues to cuss. Um, so I would say, like, the banter between the characters in the barbershop is the movie for me, and some of the drama with, I didn't understand the whole, there's this one detective, or probation officer of this one character, and, um, he, like, harasses him a bit. We don't really get a whole, a whole lot of backstory to that, other than I guess he just doesn't like him. Um, which, I didn't really care for that character to begin with, the detective. I didn't mind the, the other character. Um, Anthony, I mean, it does connect Anthony Anderson's character with that character, so it does connect... They do all, you know, it does 
wrap into a bow at the end. But again, I didn't care. I would say cut out the whole Anthony Anderson as much as I love Anthony Anderson, you know, and Kangaroo Jack and two can play that game and Transformers, the first one. As much as I love him, you know, you could just cut him out, him and his buddy, because it's it kind of messes up the the uh, entertainment for me anyway. We're you know we're cut we're in the barber shop, bar uh, back and forth with them, diet with the dynamic there, and then we cut to him and his buddy carrying the ATM either to his grandma's house or to a hotel and um you know stuff like that and it, it, and it gets old after a while and so i would say like if you cut that stuff out then it'd be a better granted it'd probably be way shorter but i wouldn't have minded it more and um i did laugh at the part where ice cubes running away from keith david's uh henchman when he's trying to give him the money and he doesn't want it. He's like, I don't want it. So he keeps running and then he runs into like a, a uh, beware of dog gate. So he jumps over it, not r realizing it said that. So he jumps back over and the henchman cusses him out. Like, what are you, what are you doing making me run around the god dang place? <laughs> so I like that bit. It does try to have some heart to it, at least, I will say that. But, again, if you cut out, if you just edit out, like, the Anthony Anderson stuff, um, I don't know what to really say about, um, how you would, how he would get the shop back if Keith David's just gonna, you know, raise up the price. Because pretty much, Ice Cube ends up going back to see Keith David to refund his deal he doesn't take it instead he raises the price to doubling which i'm like really and it's not really i, I don't know how that would end it if you know you cut out the anthony anderson connection with that um but anyway i yeah it's I can say I would still watch, I would watch it again, because I did have fun with some scenes in it, and some interactions. Um, I did also like the music in it as well, they play some decent old school stuff, play Marvin Gaye, Got to Give It Up, which I highly recommend if anybody, anybody's doing a play, doing a party, house party or whatever, you gotta play that song, because that's a party song for sure. Um, but yeah, overall, I would say it's just a okay watch. Time waster, really. I don't know how the sequels go. I'm watching the second one now, so I'll get back to you on that. But yeah.